Hey guys, it's Sim and this is Brustling Unlimited. So coming up in one week, one week from today, we do have the WWE draft. With that, Triple H said that this is going to be one of the biggest drafts we've ever done and seen. Triple H said that everybody is going to be eligible, I guess you could say. And we have some more news on potential NXT call-ups in this year's draft. Now, we already talked about Tyler Bate potentially being called up in the draft. But now, according to Mike Johnson of PW Insider, he's got some more names that are being discussed as Johnson writes the following. With the WWE draft coming up next week, we've been asked about potential call-ups. Everything is always subject to change, but the NXT names we've heard mentioned in the recent weeks as talked about for pitches for the main roster include Cameron Grimes, which was being talked about before WrestleMania. Ilya Dragunov, who had SmackDown pitches, we are told. Pretty Deadly, who has been pitched for Monday Night Raw. And Zoe Stark, no specific brand has been heard for her. So those are a few names that we've heard at least discussed about whether this translates to call-ups. We'll see soon enough. Now, first off, the Cameron Grimes one. Cameron Grimes, they've been teasing coming to the main roster phew, since like January. He appeared on Raw once or twice. He recruited the OC to help him out on NXT, and we really haven't seen him in quite some time. The one name out of all of this that does shock me a little bit is Ilya Dragunov. He's not, and no shade thrown at him, one that I look at and go, oh yeah, he's ready for the main roster. I still think he needs a little bit more, like, I guess you could say, work for his character, like work on his character. Before it's main roster ready. In the ring, he can go with the best of them. He's one of the better in-ring wrestlers. But I still just, I feel like he needs more promo work and character development. Pretty Deadly, they can go anywhere and be major stars as well as Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark is somebody that WWE should be taking a lot of advantage of. Because she's always getting better on the mic. I won't say her mic game is great. But she is really good in the ring. And as we learned over WrestleMania weekend, she's amazing speaking to the media. So she's somebody that they need to keep around for like media engagement stuff as well. But with that, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on Cameron Grimes, Ilya Dragunov, Pretty Deadly, and Zoe Stark. All being discussed as potential call-ups in next week's draft. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe right here on YouTube.